Hey everyone, uh, today we're a little bit north of Rogers City. This is Lake Huron behind us. Uh, we're going to do a little rock hunting. This beach looks really sandy, but I stopped here a, a couple weeks ago and got out and ran down and looked in the water, and there are some rocks in the water. So uh, anyhow, that's the plan for the beach. And then after that, we're going to try out the bike trail. It runs from Rogers City all the way past Tuff State Park for a while, and we haven't been on it before, but it rides along the lake here, so it should be a beautiful day for a rock hunt and a bike ride. Well, I'm kind of looking up here on the highland area a little bit because the rocks were a little bit bigger than they were on the shoreline. And I haven't found too much, but did find this uh, little fossil here on the top and then a very, very small pudding stone on the bottom. That red stripe caught my attention. Just granite though. What's that down there? A little gogandatillite. Nice one. If you like gogandatillite, that doesn't tumble very well, so I don't usually take it home. It's a pretty little rock. Looks like Nancy has something. Oh, just a kind of quartzy, I don't know, rock there. That's kind of neat. Neat stripes. And then just a piece of shirt that interesting stripes. Yep. Looks good. Beautiful morning out here. I think I just spotted a pudding stone down here. Haven't picked it up yet. Oh, definitely. Well, that's a nice little guy. Birdie. When you got a lot of limestone, any bright colored rock tends to look really good. There's a fossil of some sort. I guess that's Cladopora, but usually the, the fossils are a little bit bigger in Cladopora. Whenever I see red like that, I think pudding stone, because the jasper in a pudding stone is real red. Oh, it is a pudding stone. I thought it was just going to be a, a chunk of jasper that might have fallen out of one, but a little bit of white in the back there. I think that might be another little pudding stone right there. My neighbor Sam likes to collect the really little ones, so I'll bring that home for him. Nancy's got something to show us. Ooh. Yeah, I'm just kind of not quite sure what it is. Isn't it not chert? It was my guess when I picked it up, but it just kind of seems a little different than most of the chert on this beach. Yeah, I'm not I'm not 100% sure. That would have been my guess, but nice, whatever it is. That's probably worth throwing in the, throwing in the tumbler. Yeah, see what happens. A lot of chert in this area. This one I just thought was kind of cool looking. Didn't really expect to see unikite here, but it's not a very high quality piece. Actually, it's more granite. Okay, take that back. I think that's granite. Which unikite actually is a type of granite, but not sure if that counts. It's pretty either way. Like a cool little horn coral down here. There haven't been too many green rocks along here. But there's one, it's kind of pretty. I guess that's epidote.
There's another little pudding stone. It's not great quality, but it's a pudding stone. It's the first big rock I've seen. It's got some interesting little pits in it. The water is just beautiful. If I was wearing my bathing suit, I'd be in there. When you're walking along and the water turns kind of a brownish color, it's time to look up and see if there's a stream. And there is one. Right here. Kind of meanders down over there by Nancy. And it comes out right here. A funny little horn coral. I guess it's a horn coral, I'm not even sure. That's a little cold water agate seam along there. Cold water agates form in limestone rather than like basalt or rhyolite. It's a large gogandatillite. Pretty. I think we'll leave that one here though. That's an interesting one. I don't know what that is exactly. Kind of looks like chert. It's got a little bit of pink right there. That's neat. Well, if you're rock hunting in this area, you're going to find some fossils, so. Got a few that I picked up just to show you what's in our area. That one's neat how it goes all the way through. We don't have the Petoskey stones around here. It's just not kind of the right swath of rock, I guess, exposed here, but we do have other fossils. Another red something, I don't see any white on it, but that's yeah, a pretty piece of jasper anyhow. I wonder if that fell out of a pudding stone. I always kind of wonder that. We have not had a single fly in the beach. It's not super windy. Compared to going to the UP a couple weeks ago, it's really quite nice here. A couple things caught my attention down here. That's just kind of interesting. And while I was looking at that one, I noticed there's a pudding stone right next to it. Probably not worth taking with me. Find something? Mudstone, you probably already showed a few of those already. That's a nice one though. Yeah. I always like mudstones. I think that's chirp. It's just kind of odd. Another piece of chirp. Completely different color. Yet more chirp. It's kind of a cool one. Another little pudding stone, some pretty colors in it. That red and that red are completely different. I just picked up this piece of Jacobsville sandstone and then threw it back down, but I had just walked past this one. Kind of strange that they're, uh, they're here. You don't see a lot of this here, you see a lot of it up in Lake Superior. A pretty one. All oh, the colors. Some fun markings on that one. 
All right, it's time for our bike ride, and so uh, we're gonna head north and possibly stop a few places and see if we can find a few more rocks. At the north end of the bike trail, and that stops at the 40 mile point lighthouse. Nice little tourist stop. The beach is pretty sandy. There's rocks out in the water. Kind of wearing the wrong shoes right now. Got your dad shoes on. <laughs> yes, I guess I do have my dad shoes on. I didn't expect to see a shipwreck here, but here's a shipwreck. There's a sign over there that says it's the wreck of the Fay, F-A-Y. Part of the Thunder Bay Marine Sanctuary. Which if you're a diver, pretty cool place to go diving. I'm not a diver, but I hear it's cool. If you can see, but this goes quite a ways. Mostly covered in sand. Kind of a strange rock. So I guess it's a pudding stone. There's not much matrix, so it's really pretty right there. So Rob's got his dad shoes on, so he's not going out in the water. But I, I bought these shoes that I can kind of go in the water with and walk on the rocks and feel comfortable with. They have nice thick soles for walking on the rocks, so I see something. I'm, I'm going out there, I'm taking one for the team. Wish me luck. Go get it. Except you had a hole in my purse. Didn't plan on rocking. Oh, now we've lost the rock. Up to your left. Go to your left, straight forward, down. Okay. We saw this side. I was hoping maybe something would be better on the other side. Uh, nope, it, it, it wasn't. How's the water? It feels kind of good. It's kind of one of the reasons why I wanted to go out. <laughs> I haven't been in the water all day yet, so. It is nice. It does feel very pleasant. Nice? Yeah. It's not nice, like no. with a G, but it's, it's pretty. <laughs> I think this is a good way to do it. You just get the rocks and I stay up here on the beach nice and dry. On a Petoskey stone, kind of low quality, but those are not too common around here. Should not be that far, this far north, but I guess there's a few. It's the first one we've seen all day. We've been out for several hours. I think I see a little pudding stone. Get the rock. I need to go fetch. Get the rock, get the rock, girl. Go forward, three giant steps forward. Okay, turn to your right, go forward. Good girl. <laughs> you're, gonna get, you're gonna get in trouble for those comments. Your viewership is not gonna like that. You're gonna get smacked pretty soon. Yep. All right, I've decided I don't like this not being in the water myself. It's not all it's cracked up to be, but there's another little pudding stone. I'd say this spot is better than uh, closer to Roger City where we started out. Definitely, a little bigger rock, more variety. Yeah, nice. Nancy's got another one. Like pretty colors, kind of purplish, and that's cool. This is driving me nuts. I can see the rocks, but I can't get them. There's a pudding stone right in front of Nancy. That's not it. No, go to your right. Yep, right there. Not a very good one, huh? You saw the red. That's yeah, okay. It's just kind of a little mystery rock. I'm just not quite sure. We have two very different matrix materials there. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Hey, Nancy, I found a rock. Nice. 
nice on this end anyway. Oh, that's really nice. Not so much on the other side. Well, let's not look at that end. <laughs> let's just focus on the good part. That's a very nice one. Yeah. How's it going down there, Nance? Going well. I felt the need to stand on the giant rock. Hey, after telling you there wouldn't be any Petoskey stones up here, here's another one. Not a good quality for the top yeah. of it. On the other side. Kind of helps the base of the coral. Definitely a Petoskey stone. Looks like maybe a little horn coral in there, too. Okay, right yeah. Okay. I think we spotted, I spotted a mud puppy. First, I thought it was just a dead fish. And I'm not so sure that this is alive either. Oh, well, it's moving a little bit. But it seems like it's half eaten on the top. So I'm going to call that a dead something. Sorry, you animal lovers. Thought it's something here. What is it? Quartz? Yeah, I like it. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. What did you find? Another cool fossil. Oh, yeah. From afar, I didn't see the fossil part, but I see it now. Yeah. That's cool. Hi again. We have biked our way from the 40 mile point lighthouse all the way into Roger City. And it was just a gorgeous path. Highly recommend it uh, along the lake shore and then through some woods and it curves and it's just really pretty. And it uh, smells nice. And it smells nice. <laughs> yeah, right now uh, it smells nice right here too because we're hungry and we're standing next to the pavilion grill at the Roger City Boat Harbor. So we're ready to eat. So different, All right. ki different kind of smell, but I smell burgers. <laughs> Let's eat. <laughs> Looks good. Going for the Philly Smash Burger. Looks pretty good. Off in the distance there is Kelsite Quarry. It's the largest limestone quarry in the world. Uh, I did a video there earlier this spring. I'll link at the end if you want to check that out. Actually did it on the beach along there. But right here is Fossil Park. So if you want to see some of the rocks that come out of the quarry, they dump them here. And I'm not going to take time to look at these right now because we got a fairly long bike ride back to the Jeep. But it's a pretty nice setup. They've got a table here. You can turn on the water and wash your fossils off. And then over here, it has some information so you can try to figure out what you found. Well, we've been here most of the day, haven't we? Nice. Uh, Thanks for joining us. We had a great day. Uh, I got a couple other videos from previous Roger City rock hunts I've done, so click on one of those and we'll see you over there.